Hello, welcome to the next session. And the topic is setup deployment pipeline for industrial EOT. The session will be conducted by Vladimir Fedak and my colleague Dmitry Yunak. We are working for software company, technology providers company that's dealing as advisor and provider and provides its services over than 27 years. And in that session, we would like to cover industry 4.0 journeys and also show impact of different Cisco solutions, especially show how Cisco solutions accelerate the journeys. And in details, we would like to cover industry uh, in industrial quality control use case and show amount of automation that's required in order to implement such use case. I am Voldemar Fedakt and I am senior solution architect at software company. I hold PhD degree in artificial intelligence and I uh, did significant amount of public publications around uh, computer vision projects. And my name is Mitra Yunak. I work as software engineer for SoftServe. I'm working for more than seven years in software engineering field and four plus years in Cisco, mainly in security field and IoT direction. Also, I'm an active member of Ukraine IoT community. Okay, and two words about industry 4.0 journeys and customers that are dealing with that. And at this moment of time, uh, technology is viable to implement industry 4.0 journeys, and we identify two type of uh, customers that's uh, doing that journey. First type of customers is manufacturers that tries to optimize their operation, and mainly they are doing uh, uh, different projects in order to optimize efficiency for and different uh, for their product development. It starts with overall equipment efficiency, energy saving projects, automation with smart supply chain, intelligence project to improve worker safety, and also remote tracking projects uh, using such technologies like augmented reality or mixed reality. Second group of customers tries to uh, find out new revenue stream uh, stream uh, models and especially they are selling not some hardware products but specially service uh, that uh, after that customers are buying that active service and if you refer to some industrial projects mainly it might be variety of projects uh, it can be predictive maintenance quality control energy monitoring connected workers and smart supply chain uh, and variety of technology have to be used in order to implement such type of projects it might be start with big data because we are dealing with massive amount of data that's going from industrial environment artificial intelligence and machine learning robotics iot and augmented and mixed uh, reality. And we decided to uh, show industrial quality pipeline based on uh, one customer that we did implementation for that uh, customer. And that customer is a printing house that's printing labels for different uh, groups uh, of uh, uh, factories, goods uh, and uh, beverages. Uh, and that customer has over than 12 production lines uh, and I would say that it's a kind of mid-size uh, of uh, customers. And we, uh, as a software company, have been working with digital transformation for that uh, uh, customer and performance that uh, industry 4.0 together with that customers. And during that time, uh, we integrated and different projects uh, in the customer in the customer space, uh, especially uh, their. MES system, ERP system, and also asset management system. And in addition to that, we implemented some uh, projects that helps to drive productivity uh, for uh, for that printing house. Especially, it was quality control, energy monitoring, and predictive. Uh, maintenance. A quality control project improved efficiency of uh, quality control engineers. Energy monitoring uh, helped to reduce energy that was uh, spent on the uh, uh, on the factories. And predictive maintenance improved efficiency for uh, factory uh, factory uh, fa factory uh, fa fa facilities. And as I mentioned in the beginning. 
we would like to deep, uh, dig deeper into industrial quality control that's mainly is done by manufacturers in order to uh, in, in order to automate uh, quality uh, of produced uh, groups uh, mainly it it may be started with products uh, cut design and up to examination whether quality of products uh, is good or is not uh, so good uh, and we've done such type of project uh, for printing house customers that uh, helped to increase productivity of quality control engineers uh, and right now it's time to show how uh, the printing process uh, looks like and what uh, the defects that appears on factory lines uh, uh, look like uh, and uh, as you can see from from a cam a camera recording, uh, there are a number of defects that's printed on that uh, labels. Uh, uh, and we just highlighted the defects and please pay your attention that at this point of time, uh, printing labels were not covered by special fill. If we take a look into another example, camera just placed in, the, in, in, different, uh, in different place where printing labels uh, are already cover, uh, covered by special fill. And we see another type of defects that I would say uh, big big defects uh, about uh, paint fluid that also can be easily detected by uh, computer vision uh, algorithms. And there is one more example of defects that appear on printing clients, especially when some color is finished. And as you might see, barcodes are not printed correctly because uh, of uh, missing, missing uh, specific uh, color in specific sections on printing clients. And now it makes sense to spend uh, some time to, uh, to industrial quality control uh, deployment complexity and take a look uh, into a complex part of the system. And itself, uh, most complex part is that we have heterogeneous environment because uh, mainly all development is happening on cloud, cloud environment and all necessary computer vision applications and machine learning models are developed on a cloud. But uh, as uh, all operations are latent latency safe, uh, safe, uh, sensitive, uh, we had to deploy all applications into edge devices, and uh, the, uh, and that applications are running on edge devices and also on private uh, data centers, and they should provide also loopback to control signal uh, devices. Uh, in order to uh, uh, in order to notify that some defects appeared uh, on on production and if you take a look into number of challenges we have a certain big list of challenges which uh, has have to be resolved one part of challenges uh, significantly uh, reduced by usage of Cisco solutions that uh, was fortunately that uh, we were able to securely uh, register devices, make application deployments and also monitor other uh, applications on our production production environment and uh, we successfully utilized the Cisco hardware for that purposes and also Cisco IEX platform to dealing with all of that stuff. But also uh, as additionally we are dealing with video data, we had to write some custom accelerator, custom framework to deal with that video data and work uh, and provide some framework to launch uh, that programs, uh, to launch that programs on factory floors. Uh, and also we have uh, some accelerator that helps to launch industrial quality controls on factory floor, floors and mainly uh, it splits uh, industrial, uh, it splits work on the several phases. It starts with uh, with POC, after that uh, MVP and uh, uh, and further scaling, and we have short videos that's brief advantages of that accelerator. Industrial computer vision quality control is a common practice in process automation. 
Industrial Quality Control Accelerator allows automate quality control easier and faster on any project stage. It provides the management application and securely registers your IT devices. Your engineering team starts with provisioning the necessary equipment and setting up connectivity on site. Once the required hardware is installed, a provisioning engineer needs to register the Edge device. It usually has hardware security module or trusted platform module which securely store the device private key. Quality Control Accelerator simplifies the interaction of the Edge device software with the HSM and TPM and registers the device seamlessly. The private key stays on the Edge device, while the public key is stored in the cloud. It's used to validate the authenticity of the camera's content. Now we are on the MVP phase. In industrial quality control projects, data scientists usually spend up to 80% of their time for data cleanup, normalization and analysis. Moreover, we are dealing with the renewal actual video content that takes a lot of bandwidth, which adds to the complexity of the task. Quality Control Accelerator alleviates that burden with early filtering of noisy data, which helps reduce the usage of factory bandwidth. Additionally, you can register and apply automatic rules, so that only relevant data is processed and stored in the cloud. No manual fixes or even physical presence is involved. The rules work certainly in the cloud. It just works! Now, your data scientist can properly gather the data from production lines to build machine learning models. This model lives in the cloud and is seamlessly transmitted to Edge devices. The model analyzes the quality of the production line output – good, bad, unknown. The model is constantly fed with data. It's learning and improving. Based on that, CI-CD Accelerator helps set up a continuous improvement process and gain a new level of quality control. Now it's time to scale the innovation. Most of the data is processed by the model locally. The portion of data that needs further evaluation is sent to and processed in the cloud. This creates optional conditions for operation and can be scaled to multiple and various production lines and even factories. Thank you, Vladimir. Now I would like to continue with the quality control operations and what happens on the on the factory floor in regards of the devices and to dive a deep deeper into technical part. So this is the simplified scheme of the things as they happen on the factory floor. As you can see, we've got a high-speed industrial cameras installed right at the printing line to gather the necessary video data and transfer it to edge devices. Uh, actually, those cameras we used in this case does not have a network connection and that's one of the parts where Cisco equipment helps us to connect them to the network and to configure them using applications that run IOX platform. I would like to mention also that we run a couple of different applications and connect to multiple sensors on the factory floor, not only to work with the video data and video stream, but also to gather necessary information for other use cases mentioned previously, uh, being such as energy monitoring or predictive maintenance. The whole process actually breaks down essentially into two parts. So with the defected label uh, comes first, the first phase of identifying it happens on the edge device. Uh, there are some computer vision algorithm running there to identify major defects being paint stains or barcodes missing as shown previously. So we can re reduce the latency and transfer the signal faster to the responsible quality control specialist located on the factory floor to his control signal device. And the other big step is happening on private DC where we've got our machine learning model running, trained specifically to capture the minor defects being typos, lettering or some other stuff that are hard to notice even if you are located in the factory and looking right at the label. Uh, I would like to go through the process of data collection and data preparation for this case. So let's imagine we have a new printing job 
being new, completely new label uh, covered, for instance, in aluminum foil or uh, being transparent. So it's pretty hard to understand whether or not the label is defected, right? So as I mentioned previously, we've got a machine learning model running run on the private DCs, and we filter the data that comes into that. So if we detect on a computer vision step right at the edge that the label is defected, uh, we don't need that data, obviously, as we already know that it's defected. So what actually happens, we've got uh, two triggers automated setups in our private DCs, one being a, sig a specific signal sent from the quality control device from the from an engineer in the field saying that okay this label is being not so good it's being defected and the other one the accuracy decrease uh, of the data from our machine learning model the prediction so whether one or both of these triggers happen the process, uh, the private DC will send an automated signal to the edge application running an IOX client with specific rules for this particular camera, uh, which sends us the data we want. So we will receive the whole video out output from the camera. So it enables us to store the data into the cloud and to retrain or enhance our algorithms or models by our machine learning engineers and developers so we can adapt quickly to the new challenges that are present for for this new label printing job. So now I would like to describe more what happens in the cloud for this particular solution. So having all the data in the cloud enables us to build a complex deployment pipeline consistent of multiple steps. So obviously the engineers trying to solve the problems present at, at the factory are building new code, new applications for different purposes. And what they need is a framework where they can test those applications against the issues they're trying to solve. So what we've done here and what Cisco really helps us with is IOX client being able to run Docker containers so we can uh, isolate our environments and build the specific containers for specific reasons, uh, store them safely, tag them appropriately, run unit tests against them, understand performance and load qualities of those containers, and deploy them safely via Cisco GMM in a secure fashion to a particular edge devices. And we use what we call a gradual phased deployment approach, which allows us to deploy uh, new application versions to uh, what we call early adopter factory line, where we can observe how it behaves in the real world environment, check all the health checks, uh, understand the different monitoring capabilities uh, which GMM provides to us. And to, if everything's fine and we're happy with the results, we can easily scale it to all other factory lines. And also we Utilizing cloud functions, we deploy new machine learning models to the private DCs. And there are a couple of lessons learned and what which I would like to share with you guys and what I found particularly interesting. So we've developed an intelligent automated testing approach and I'll describe it briefly and I hope you can reuse it in your future projects. So. Uh, what I would like to emphasize on is when you collect a lot of data, you need to test your applications on the new data collected and to understand whether or not they're working fine. So uh, you think intelligent automated testing, you do not need to rewrite your tests each and every time. You just need a set of data that's coming from the uh, from the factory to in, into the cloud and you need to set up a specific thresholds to work with the data. So the other one is application performance and load tests. As we are running applications on edge devices, we need to understand that we have a specific hardware constraints in processing power and in memory consumption that we can afford. And we, can, we need to accommodate for that and test our application previously and understand their load prior to deploying them to, to the edge applications. So also we would we need to 
verify the application accuracy, I mean machine learning models accuracy firstly, uh, on the newly collected data to understand whether or not our machine learning models are behaving in the fashion that we want them to. And gradual rollout uh, phased approach in, in deployment allows us to quickly note the things, test them against the real world data and understand whether or not they're working fine and roll back if it's needed and scale easily if we're happy with the results. So the key benefits for the customer uh, were actually 40% decrease in defected items production by early recognition of the defected labels. Uh, also predictive maintenance running in the field in conjunction with energy monitoring allowed us to reduce the uh, to increase the overall equipment efficiency by 12 percent and other benefits were gained by this digital transformation project so overall it was a huge success for the customer uh, i mean by transforming and digitalizing their factory they are able to reduce the operational costs increase overall uh, equipment efficiency, increased quality of their production, and it helps us to stay competitive and have a great results. So that's pretty much it for this presentation. I'd be happy if you have any answers and I'd like to answer them if you have them. Thank you so much for the listening.